Right now, a mother is behind bars, charged with neglect stemming from the disappearance of her infant daughter. Amaya Robertson was reported missing by family members in March of 2019. It's a story our team has covered from the very beginning, and tonight our Vic Reichert is breaking down the legal aspects of this case. But first, our Caitlin Kendall is hearing from family members about the recent developments. As far as I'm concerned, she's about as innocent as could be. This is Ryan Morris, the current boyfriend of Amber Robertson. The two also have a child together. She's a, a really good mother. She takes care of her kids. I've never once seen her raise a hand at her kids. I've never seen her yell at her kids. But Robertson is behind bars, charged with four counts of neglect after a grand jury indictment in connection to the disappearance of her then eight-month-old daughter, Amaya. Uh, this case was a monster in terms of the number of witnesses, the amount of evidence, the complexity of the case involved. Both Robertson and Robert Lyons, the then boyfriend, are facing criminal charges. Court documents from last week's grand jury indictment detail the four counts of neglect, alleging Robertson and Lyons cruelly confined Amaya and or deprived her of necessary support and deprived her of necessary food, water or sanitary facilities. Robertson's father, the grandpa of Amaya, spoke to WRTV, saying, quote, maybe we can finally get some true answers as to what happened to my granddaughter. I'm still a bit shocked, still, um, because it's been a long time coming. Sierra Burks, a family friend, has been following the case since the beginning. Amaya was eight months old when she was reported missing in March of 2019. She had last been seen alive a week earlier with lions at a home on South Holmes Avenue. And that's when Amber Robertson made this plea. Robert took what he knew meant the most to me, and that was one of my children. A week later, IMPD said they were investigating Amaya's disappearance as a homicide. Three years later, and baby Amaya has still not been found. But Morris says Amber talks about Amaya, throws birthday parties for her, adding she often has breakdowns thinking about her. She said that she had missed her kid. She hopes to see her soon. She hopes she's okay. She loves her. She misses her. And mommy just wants her home. Morris says he tries to comfort her. She says she can't talk about some things because her attorney has advised her not to. I understand that there, um, there's no body. Um, but it would be nice to see them being charged with, mur with more. When asked if a murder charge was pursued, Marion County Prosecutor Ryan Mears reiterated that the actual specifics of what was presented to the grand jury couldn't be released, but there were two no bills, meaning there were two charges that had to be dropped. Uh, with this grand jury indictment, uh, and we, we hope that uh, we can give baby Amaya justice. Working for you, Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Joining us now in studio is WRTV's Vic Riker. Vic, you are a longtime journalist here mm -hmm. in the Indianapolis area. So you have a lot of insight on this particular case regarding Amaya. So looking at what the prosecutor just announced, what are your thoughts on specifically using a grand jury in this situation? Yes, yeah, so this uh, grand juries aren't used in a lot of cases, but mm -hmm. usually it's when a case is really complicated and, or the evidence is sort of conflicting or, or and and the prosecutor today at his press conference said this was a very complicated case with a lot of evidence. And so they use the grand jury to sort of present what they can, sift through it and then ask the grand jury whether or not there's enough charges to file. In this case, they found enough to file um, felony neglect of a dependent causing serious bodily injury. And I think the point that this is a serious bodily injury case is important because it tells us mm -hmm. that there's evidence that has not been released yet, that the public doesn't know. Evidence, and it could be anything, it could be blood, it could be a, a statement from a witness, it could be a statement from one of the parties that they've indicted. Sure. Um, something that we don't know about yet um, leads them to believe that baby Amaya was suffered some kind of serious bodily injury mm -hmm. that the indictment had. Well, and that could lead to as much as 16 years behind bars with that charge, right? That is. And, and in a case like this, I think the hope from prosecutors is they will get close to 16 years because, yeah. you know, the, the evidence is that you have an eight-month-old baby who disappeared. Still not found. It's still not found. Still no body. So, so police and prosecutors mm -hmm. are convinced, you know, um, baby Amaya is dead. Um, because an eight-month-old, like um, 
I think it was a police chief today in this press conference said, you know, the, this child didn't get up and walk away. Mm -mm. So, so they know something horrible happened, and um, and they believe they believe that she is gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, yeah, so that's that's what we have. So they're going to hopefully use that to persuade a judge to say this is a case that deserves a maximum. Investigators are still working to solve this case. If you have any information that could help, call Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous, and that number is 317-262-TIPS.